Hey everybody, it's Shakes, and recently the 1.4 update has came out for Terraria, the final one, Journey's End, and I've been having a lot of fun running around in Journey mode and dying a thousand times over in Master mode, but something that a lot of people aren't talking about is the considerable performance hit that you may have had when downloading the update. Now with Journey's End, they added a ton of new resprites that look way better, they've also added a lot of other features that make the game look way better, for example, you know, when there's wind flowing through the air, you're gonna see leaves coming down, and while it does look really great, it can make your performance not quite as good, so this video is going to be kind of showing you guys how to make sure you get as much FPS as possible, so when you're fighting bosses, you can't blame it on your low FPS. In this video, I'm pretty much going to go over two different strategies that you can use to help you get more FPS. So the first one is really, really easy. It only requires you going into the settings of Terraria and is really, really fast and easy and everybody can do it. And if that doesn't give you enough FPS, the second way is definitely going to give you some additional FPS so your computer is more optimized to run the game and you can get as much FPS as possible if you need to. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your inventory, then go to settings, then go to video. Change your lighting setting all the way to retro, that's going to give you the most FPS. Make your quality go to low, make your background off, blood and gore off, heat distortion disabled, storm effects disabled, wave effects off, windy environment disabled, and with all these things you're going to get way more FPS. It might not look as nice as you can see you know without a background it doesn't look as immersive or cool but of course you can turn one of these things back on if you really wanted to but overall the less you have the more fps you're gonna get they should also test out frame skip off on and subtle see if you know which kind gives you the most fps because a lot of people have told me you know off gives me more fps or on gives me more fps so just kind of test out with that and see which one gives you the most fps or the most enjoyable experience Next thing you're going to want to make sure you're doing is make sure you're in full screen because then it can allocate more of its resources to a full screen program like this. So make sure it says go windowed because that obviously means you're currently in full screen and that option would be to make you go into windowed. So make sure it is on full screen mode. And the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure your resolution is as low as physically possible. As you can currently see, it's 800 times 600 pixels. Now this is way less pixels than my actual monitor. So it's going to be a little bit scrunched up as you can see. And it looks quite weird. You can turn off the map. But uh, even then, I'm going to have way more FPS probably like double or triple the FPS from just that alone. You know, changing your resolution has a massive effect because obviously the less pixels your game has to render, the easier it is for your game to render it and obviously give you more FPS. Now, if doing all these changes have not given you the performance you want to absolutely destroy these bosses without any kind of interruption, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually close out of Terraria. What you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and click download here. It's going to be from Razer Cortex. You're going to pretty much download this software that allows you to, you know, allocate more resources and kind of clear out your RAM when you open up a game so you can have as much performance as possible. It's a really easy download. Just open up the installer, click yes, close out of the browser because we're not going to need that anymore. Then through here, just make sure you have this checked, click install. It's probably going to download and install pretty fast. And once it's installed, just make sure launch Razer Cortex is checked then click get started. And once this opens up, just click continue as guest. You don't have to sign up or log in. We don't want to give Razer random information from us. So just click continue as guest. Click continue as guest once again, then close out of here. And then you're going to see all the games that it's scanning from your PC that you can open up and optimize. If we scroll down a little bit, we're probably going to find Terraria. And right here it is. So you could just click play. So if we click play on Terraria from Razer Cortex, we're going to see all this RAM that is being released and how many items are being optimized. So we're going to have more RAM and, you know, more processing power to put into the game. Now once we have the game open, we can see that it's still in 800 times 600 pixels, so it is pretty scrunched up, but that's what you're going to have to do if you want the maximum amount of FPS. So if we go to single player, then we go to our players, then we're going to see that this game runs really, really fast. Before it didn't run all that bad, but now it's just going to be incredibly, incredibly fast. If I fight all of the bosses in the game at the same time, there's not going to be a single frame drop, even for a millisecond, just because of how much optimization this game currently has right now. So yeah, obviously you do have to make the game a little bit worse looking, but for how much performance you get, it is quite worth it in my opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much how you improve FPS in Terraria in 2020. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever you're supposed to say as a tuber now. And uh, yeah, peace.